Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. It is the very last day of 2022 and I thought I'd do something a little bit different. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo. So I asked Tarot, what, what should we take as lessons? What do we need to learn from 2022? And we had the Nine of Swords as the first card, Virgo. And I kind of get this feeling of you know that mindset, you know, when Virgo overthinks. And I, and, I, and I also took sight of this white bird here. So you, it's almost like you are, you are protected. You know, the universe is on your side. You do have, at times, you, you do have a really positive mindset. And then sometimes, you know, these blackbirds, these crows, these thoughts, these ways of thinking come rushing back in. And it could be because of past, you know, heartbreak, people that have let you down in the past. Maybe you feel like you've let yourself down. I definitely feel like it's an energy of like, don't overthink, Virgo. You've been through so much. And now... I just feel like, if anything, just try your best to control your mind, control your thoughts, get out of your mind and not to sweat the small stuff because life is very short, okay? And sometimes we do overthink and we let the mind control us and things happen and we blame ourselves or we point the finger and we blame others. There's been depression, there's been anxiety, there's been a year of ups and downs, a lot of worry here, Virgo. And I think a lot of you guys are actually, and you may not admit it, but I can admit it, it can be very hard on yourselves, you know? Look at this Four of Pentacles. It's like a reminder, you know, this is about realising your worth. You're very generous, you're very kind, you're very giving. This is about grounding yourself now bringing stability in your life save you know for the stuff that you've always wanted to do you have the ability to save you have the ability to ground yourself and i definitely feel like a lesson here is to realize your worth realize that some things actually don't really matter and we spend a lot of our times worrying and you know you may have beat yourself up about something or certain things, particular things, many things, more than one perhaps, about the choices that you've made. Perhaps you're beating yourself up or you beat yourself up a lot about the choices that you've made, you know, getting your hopes up, you know, kind of like, oh, I did the wrong thing. Everything is a learning curve, you know, everything we can learn from, we grow wiser, we grow bolder. And you are definitely a wise soul. So I just feel like um, never forget what you bring to the table, how much love you've got to give, okay? And this is a lesson I feel for going into 2023 is about actually realizing your worth, self-worth. It all starts with you, Virgo, it all stems with self. So don't be hard on yourself, okay? We all make mistakes in life, but it's about learning from those mistakes if we don't want to repeat them. And... And to move forward with grace, like you've got so much grace, you're so giving, you've got so much love to give, realizing that perhaps maybe you gave to the wrong people or not even that you gave to the wrong people, but the magician card, maybe you manifested the wrong things. I feel like this magician card just kind of like shows me that you guys have a lot going for yourselves. You have extreme potential you're able to make things happen you're able to get through stuff like i feel like any challenges that you're faced with somehow you just push on through the magician card is a very magical card virgo the magician card signifies um gemini energy as well as virgo energy okay well this is all about your skills this is all about the power of manifestation, using your resources wisely. You know, you have the ability to achieve anything that you really want to achieve. And I don't say that because for the sake of saying stuff, I truly believe that. A lot of you guys are extremely talented. You've got so much to give, so much that you can accomplish. 
as long as you take an, uh, action, you know, you have the right energy about you. You know, this Nine of Swords energy, I really hope I don't see much of it in um, 2023. But I feel like this is like stuff that you've always wanted to do, Virgo. If you haven't been able to get that off the ground or you haven't been able to see things through, don't even sweat it. You can reset. You can, again, learn from your mistakes and start again. You're very powerful energy. You have everything you need to succeed. You know, the cosmos are on your side. All the skills that you require, you have them. They're at your fingertips. You are able to create. So go and create. You have a lot of personal power. And it's about you deciding to shape that world that it is that you truly desire. Now, maybe some of you guys think that I'm waffling on, but... um. I'm trying to just uh, guide my Virgos, you know. What else are the lessons for 2022 that we should take? What lessons should we take for 2022? The Three of Pentacles and the Moon card. Again, I just get this energy, you know, what makes you think that you're not good enough? What makes you think that what you bring to the table is not good enough? We have a lot of subconscious energy here. A lot of things deep down in the core of you that need to be brought to the surface. When you bring them to the surface, you can kind of uh, see them clearly. You can understand them better. Don't suppress it. And um, work on it. Three of Pentacles shows me that you are... A valued team member you know whether that's your family your workforce you have a lot to bring to the table you are able to manifest things you are able to get better you're able to build something not only for you and your family but for generations to come i feel like there's a lot here that um needs to come to the surface it's not about suppressing your emotions okay What else do we have as lessons that we should take from 2022? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can talk about betrayal, can talk about deceived energy. It can also talk about lying to yourself or people lying to you. I feel if we're talking about us on the crust of it, Virgo, perhaps some of us have lied to ourselves, you know, but out of fear. Maybe we do it on default in order to not see stuff for what it is, you know. Sometimes we can paint a picture in our mind and it's really not that. I definitely feel like um, you have to be strategic. You have to be logical. You have to use your logic wisely. You want something in life, go and get it. Sometimes we don't even know that we're doing it. We do stuff in a selfish way. And I'm not talking about just Virgos. I'm talking about humans as a whole. You know, some people in life, they, they just take, take, take what they want. Take what they want. That's not you. If someone hurt you, if someone betrayed you, it's all good. Learn from it. Okay, so I just feel like I'm getting this energy of don't let past situations dictate your future. Don't let one person or this energy where you feel like you've been betrayed, don't let that make you close off your heart. You've got so much love to give. I think, um, I think it's the... The autistic tarot reader, I'm not sure of his name, but um, he said something about, you know, every lesson that, every relationship that we get into that doesn't work out, there's a lesson there. That person came into our life for us to learn something, learn something about ourselves, learn a valuable lesson. So I feel like for some of you guys, that is what you should take. Sometimes we have to go within we have to really look within to get the answers and 
And with that, we can find a way forward. The lover's card really wanting to come out reverse there. Now, you know that talks about codependency. That talks about disharmony, miscommunication, making the wrong choices. Could be with the Gemini for some of you guys. Okay. But this also talks about giving away your power in a relationship. Yeah, we're, we're born alone. And then in life, we kind of depend on other people. Sometimes we have too many expectations on others. And I also read something today, or I listened to something today, and they said, um, don't ever expect a man to be perfect. And to generalise it, don't expect any human to be perfect. Are you perfect, Virgo? So why should we expect that? of others this is a need to find self-love now like really find self-love really go in the core and find that and, and know that you are worthy you've got so much love to give you are extremely nurturing this is unconditional love for oneself mind body and spirit so i feel like um if anything you really really need to implement self-love now and if someone in the comment section wants to say i love myself and blah 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 okay cool this is not for you there's been imbalances in relationships and there's a reason for that it's mainly because there's stuff that you need to work on or that we need to work on remember the three of pentacles is divine feminine this is about unity. Unity is real love. It's unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we shut down because we don't want to face the world. We don't want to face ourselves. We want to pretend that everything's all right. You're definitely being called for some of you guys to enjoy life. Dance to the beat of your own drum. Find the adventure, find the excitement in life. You're able to, again, manifest whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you truly desire. Be the difference, Virgo. You've got to be more positive. You want results, you've got to take action. It's going to need a lot of your courage to do that. You're very charismatic. You have the ability to manifest your true desires. You are a mutable sign. You can bend. But don't break. You have the ability to bounce back. You have this infection about life. This infectious energy, this enthusiastic energy, and it bounces off you. And people feel that and they love that around you. And a lot of you Virgos are meant to do that in Earth. You know, they call us the 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 sign of service. The energy that we give other people we really do have a positive impact on other people. But you really got to bounce off yourself as well. You really got to implement that love that you give the world to yourself. This is about freedom. This is about shifting your reality to match your desires. Make your passion work for you. Dance. And dance in the beauty of it all. The good, the bad, the ugly. I like to say that. Now this reading, I don't know, for some of you guys it might sound a bit confusing. Well, for some of you guys it might really hit home. But there's lessons here to be learned. The Hanged Man. This is about letting go. This is about seeing stuff from a different perspective. This is about taking an intentional pause to reflect on your journey. And it's almost like, don't sweat the small stuff. It's not worth it. The hanged man is definitely about letting go. 
It's definitely about embracing the new. It's definitely about realigning with your heart, your values. There's new wisdom here. You've learned a lot this year. You have learned a lot. You may not feel like you've learned a lot, but I promise you, as the year closes today, you would have realized that 2022 had a lot of lessons for you. And there's been a lot of teaching and learning here. There may have been self-sabotage this year. There may be, have been an energy where you're holding on to something that isn't meant for you. Whether it's a person or a way of thinking, a way of behaving or living. Miracles are there for you all the time. It's limitless. This is about surrendering to the divine. To the cosmos. This is about reflecting on your journey. And flowing with it. Don't resist it. They say everything happens for a reason, right? Hopefully you enjoyed that reading. Look at this. There's been major lessons in love for 2022. Major lessons. But it's all good. It makes us wiser. makes us better human beings. And if we don't want to repeat what we may call mistakes, it's about learning from them. All right. Love, peace and light, my beautiful Virgos. Remember, you can book me for a personal reading. I'm extremely busy at present. So there is a little bit of a wait. <clears throat> you can also catch me for live tarot. I think I might try to go for live tarot today. And you can also follow me on the socials. But um, I've definitely took a long break from social media. I should be back sometime in uh, the coming year. But yeah, I love you guys, you know. Take every day, one step at a time. Love on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. And all will be well. Be kind to others, as you always are, Virgo. But most importantly, be kind to you. And the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care.